Hey everybody, welcome back to Admin Tone Blog TV. Uh, my name is Bill. Today we're going to be going through installing Ubuntu 18.04.1 server. Uh, it's a little bit different than 1804 was, so this be a quick video on how to get that installed. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is select our language. I have a virtual machine set up here in VirtualBox to uh, to deploy it to. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and select English. You see, you have your layout and your variant already. Uh, it's pretty much exactly the same as 1804. We'll click on Done. We'll apply that. Here we're going to tell it to install Ubuntu. And this looks a little bit different on how you configured the IP address in your last, uh, in the last version, 1804. So we'll arrow up to here because we want to set a static IP. You can see it's already pulled a dynamic. And it does a little pop up window now. So we're going to edit IPv4. We're going to change it to hit enter to change it to manual. And this is a little bit like the other screen in 1804 uh, where you're going to enter in the subnet and all the IP information. So you do the subnet, uh, which is 192.168.1.0, in my case was slash 24 uh, netmask, and here's where we're going to configure the static IP, 192.168.1.80, set the gateway, 192.168.1.1, name servers, I have two, and these are going to be comma separated, as you can see, 168.1.20, and we'll set the search domain. I have local DNS here in my lab, so I'll put edmonton.lab, click on save, and you can either shift tab to get back to done, or you can shift tab through all that stuff. Uh, maybe in another video we'll go through creating a bond, a couple of uh, ethernet adapters, but for this one we'll just set one static IP address. Uh, here's where you'd enter your proxy if you have one, I don't, so I'm just going to hit next. And here you can put in the main Ubuntu mirror, select the default, or you can put your own if you want. Uh, but we'll go with the default. We'll tell it to use the entire disk and set up LVM. So that's a little bit different than the last version as well. We're going to tell it, yeah, go ahead and use our virtual disk here of 10 gig. This looks a little bit different. There's a lot of stuff on here, but essentially it's the same stuff. It's just saying, hey, I'm creating these LVMs and these groups. I'm done except the defaults click on continue to erase everything and start over now we can set our system information so I'll put my name here server name is going to be Ubuntu 1041 or whatever you want to name it set the username you'll notice that it's already started installing whereas before you had to enter all this in and then start installing and uh, you can import an SSH identity here. You can easily use one from GitHub or Launchpad. I'll be doing another video on that, but for here, we're going to tell it no. And we'll click on done. Now, the, the really cool thing about this new install for 1804.1 uh, is that you can automatically select some snaps that you want to install. Before, and I mean, if you remember older versions of Ubuntu, you can select uh, it's going to be a web server, install Apache, and all that good stuff. Well, now we're doing it all through snaps. Uh, so you can tell it, hey, I want it to be a Nextcloud server, so it'll install Nextcloud for you, uh, LXD if you want to do virtualization, uh, all kinds of awesome things here. You can do this up a Juju client, we can, AWS CLI, Google Cloud SDK, Amazon SSM management, so it's got a lot of stuff right out of the box. We're going to go ahead and install Docker. And you tell it what version, you just say, hey, install the stable one, and that checks it off tab over to close and we'll tab over to done and it's going to continue installing so we'll just let it sit for a second a minute or two while it installs hopefully it shouldn't take too terribly long I didn't make it a very big system, so it might take a while. All 
All right, so it's got everything installed, and it's telling us we need to reboot. So let's reboot now. Press enter because VirtualBox will remove our installation media for us automatically. And now our new server should boot up. in here just to do some cloud init stuff and then we should be able to log into our new server and check it out. Alright, and there we go, we're in our server. See if it installed Docker for us. Apparently, it did not. Yeah. Oh, looks like you're doing it now. Well, there you go. There we go. Okay, so it must install those snaps after it installs everything. So that's that's pretty awesome. That's what the cloud init does. So there you go. Um, now you have a fully installed system with Docker already there, and we could have selected any one of those other snaps to install those too. And that is basically the new changes with installing a Monty server 1804.1. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor, click on subscribe down below. Uh, come up with video, I come out with videos all the time. Uh, mostly on Ubuntu or DevOps and also big data uh, so be sure to click that subscribe button also be sure to check out my blog at admintome.com I appreciate you watching